Hey guys, welcome to the first video of my series on introduction to NumPy. So NumPy is one of the most important and fundamental libraries used for scientific computing in Python. NumPy is at the core of most of the other scientific computing libraries which are used in data science or any other branch of science which require computing power. So in this series, we are going to dive in into the world of NumPy and get a hold of it so that we can use it seamlessly in our projects. Since this is the first video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to what is NumPy, why to use it over the Python disks and how to install it. So without any delay, let's get started. As the name suggests, NumPy is all about numbers and a very special data container called array for storing those numbers. So let us take a look at what is NumPy. So NumPy is actually a general purpose array processing package which provides a high performance, homogeneous, multidimensional array object and some tools for working with those arrays. So now uh, there is a lot of information to be understood here. First of all, NumPy is based upon a single data structure which is called a multidimensional array and there are some properties of that particular array which is that it is homogeneous which simply means that once you have defined a data type of the elements of your array you are not going to change it all the elements are going to be of the same data type and secondly your um, you get some high performance with your array object because of some optimized functions defined for your array and that is the main reason why NumPy is used as a fundamental package for scientific computing with Python. So basically there are a lot of other scientific computing libraries which are built over the top of NumPy. And basically the, the high level scientific computing libraries like Pandas use the NumPy array object as the base class of their own data containers. So what makes NumPy special? NumPy is special because it provides you a powerful n-dimensional array object as we have understood. Then it provides you some sophisticated functions for um, applying over your array object. Third, it provides you some tools for integrating C, C++ and Fortran code. So an interesting fact about NumPy is that a lot of its, you can say, source code is written in the C or C++ programming language which makes its functions and even the data structure very optimized. And other than that, it provides you a lot of tools. It provides you useful linear algebra, Fourier transform, and some random number capabilities. So all these things make it a, a very attractive option for scientific computing. But even if you do not need um, NumPy for scientific computing, but you might need it for its efficient multidimensional container of generic data, which we call an array. So you might just need to use array sometime when you want some efficiency, whether in terms of space or time. So yeah, that's all about what is NumPy. And let's move on to the next question, which is what is the difference between Python list and NumPy array? Why don't we just use the Python list? Why don't we use a nested Python list for representing a kind of a matrix, right? Why not? So there are a few reasons. The first reason is um, size. So the NumPy data structure actually takes less space. So why so? Let us take a look at a disk diagram to understand that. So while you store a list, what happens is that you get some space in the memory for your list object where you store some general list information and some pointers. And now these pointers actually point to the objects which are stored in your list. So for example, in this particular example, you have three um, integer objects which are being stored in your list and you have some pointers at your list object which are referring to them. So in this way you are actually wasting a lot of space by keeping these pointers here, right? But you have to keep them because you do not know what are you going to store in your list and you can store any kind of element, right? So you need pointers. But when we come to array, the situation is a bit different. So as I told you before, the NumPy arrays are homogeneous in nature. So we already know that how much size is going to be of each element in my array and also you have to um, specify in advance the shape of your array as well so because of these two things um, we, already do, we already know that how much memory uh, are we going to need so that is the reason why um, we just get a um, compact space in the memory for storing our array and it makes it quite memory efficient 
so that is the first reason that numpy is space friendly secondly it is in the terms of performance that numpy provides some optimized functions which are faster than the list functions and thirdly functionality um, numpy provides you a lot of operations which are already built in so you can use them directly so all these things uh, make numpy arrays better than lists when you want to go for some scientific computing so yeah that's all about it and finally it's time that we do some installation so you can simply write pip install numpy in your command prompt or the terminal and install the numpy package and then we are going to start with our exploration of the numpy library from the next video onwards so see you there